Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And good afternoon, everyone. Boy, what a day yesterday. We had tornadoes, we had flooding, we had hail all across the nation's midsection. The tornadoes, Boise City, Oklahoma, the flooding, of course, across parts of Texas and the large hail and the heavy rainfall down into the southeastern part of the United States. But you can see this tornado roping out with that big supercellular thunderstorm out over West Texas and parts of the panhandle of Oklahoma. And of course, the flooding down in parts of Texas. And look at that hail pounding the southern plains. OK, so for us, this system moved into our area overnight, much weaker state. We had rain. Hardly a rumble of thunder, some winds that gusted close to 50 miles an hour in Oak Fusky County. And then by the time it made it to Tulsa, it was just a nice gentle rain. We've had cloud cover all day long. Rainfall since midnight, Coffeyville and Bartlesville have had the most rain over an inch. Tulsa, three tenths of an inch. McAllister, also three tenths of an inch. And Muskogee, just six one hundred. So now for the month of May, we're up to an inch and a half. For the year, we're at 11.39, but that's still running about two and a half inches below average. So not as wet as it was a year ago in May when we set the all time record for rainfall across the state of Oklahoma in Tulsa. It was one of the wettest Mays on record. This disturbance here will slide across the Red River. Overall, though, what we're looking at is this big upper level low pressure area that continues to spin here out in the southwestern part of the United States. And from time to time, what will end up happening is little pieces of energy will come out toward Tulsa and as each one does it brings us a chance to shower so we're seeing that tonight in that one little shower that might make it as far north as Interstate 40 but we'll stay dry in Tulsa and then Thursday we'll see another round of showers come uh, and approach us so a 40% chance of rain here but you know that's a 60% chance that a lot of us don't see rainfall with a 20% chance over much of the area not to see a rain on Thursday but boy it would be nice to get the rain wash out the pollens they have been impacted by the rain here recently. Grass and mold spores dropped into the moderate range. The trees and weeds also dropping into the low level range. So certainly good news. Today's high 64 as we said at the top of the show. That is going to probably be the record low high temperature for the day. The average high is 80 degrees. So it's closer to the average low temperature and much farther away from that average high temperature. We continue with the cloudy skies here this evening. The temperature right now 59 degrees. The winds are out of the north. They're cool at 13 miles an hour. The barometric pressure is at 30.06. We have high pressure. It's actually in control. Just this low level moisture giving us overcast skies 60 degrees through 7 o'clock. 830, uh, 59 as the sun sets with steady temps. Then overnight tonight we'll see some partial clearing 50 degrees. Overnight lows in Bartlesville dropping to 46. Coffeeville also at 46. Benita at 47. With northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour, Okima drops to 49. Wagner down to 50 degrees. And south of Interstate 40, with mostly cloudy skies and maybe a sprinkle, Tallahena drops to 53 for the overnight low. Then tomorrow, we'll call it mostly cloudy. It'll be another cool day as high temperatures make it into the upper 60s. The average high again, close to 80 degrees. High temperature at Venita and Pryor right around 70. Claremore around 68 degrees. We'll see a high temperature at Okmulgee of only 67. Muskogee 69 with a cool northeast wind at 5 to 15 miles an hour. And a high temperature of Stigler uh, 69. Henrietta 67 with northeast winds and cloudy sky. Seven day forecast looking at Thursday 68 with a 40% chance of rain. Then Friday just a 20% chance of rain. A high 76. Mayfest on Friday looks like a pretty good deal here. 76 in the afternoon temperatures under clear skies fall to 67 by the close of Mace Fest Friday night. Then Saturday 80 degrees. Beautiful weather continues into Sunday. Rain and unsettled weather and some thunderstorms returning early next week. More